Hello, I'm Rob from the RC Pilots Log and I hope everyone is keeping safe and well in these uncertain times. Today I'm starting a new project. I'm building a Douglas DC-3 from 3mm Depron foam. It's a bit of an unknown and a new technique for me, so let's see how we get on. If you want to follow along, there's a link to the free plans in the description. In case anyone was wondering, the ATR-72 project got binned after I stumbled into it, so this DC-3 is its more modest replacement. I downloaded these plans free from OuterZone, the link is in the description. I tile printed them at 50% with a zero overlap and used the cut marks. Then I cut out and stuck them together. The wingspan is just under 48 inches. I started by tracing the fuselage outline onto paper, then taped them together and cut out the template. I'm using the plan to make sure my templates are reasonably accurate and I'll do this throughout the build. This 3mm Depron foam is a bit too thin for the main structure, so I'm laminating two sheets with UHU POR glue. This is spread on both sheets and let cure for 10 minutes before mating. It's instant grab, so on smaller parts I'll have to ensure alignment. Once the fuselage is cut, the location of each of the 32 formers is marked. I don't think I'll use all of them as this is a 50% reduction and it seems overkill. Next, the first four formers or ribs are traced, cut out and transferred onto the Depron. Again, two of each are laminated together to make a 6mm piece. I trimmed 3mm from the inside of each rib to account for the fuselage thickness. From this point, I switched to every other rib. Sticking to the 10 minute tack time for POR, it took a while to make all of these ribs, but with some multitasking, I can complete one every six minutes or so. Working back towards the tail, the shape is starting to come out. The 3mm Depron wraps nicely around the formers. I'm not sure yet quite how I'll skin it.
So one half of the fuselage now has all of the ribs installed um, and I'm really pleased actually that the shape is really good and I think it will, it will be a nice former for a Depron skin and um, possibly a fiberglass over it later on. I've added, uh, I have been uh, alternating on the formers, uh, the ribs, the plan calls for 32 of them. I thought that was too many for such a small plane so I halved the number and did alternate uh, ribs apart from the nose and the tail um, which I did all of them on to give the more intricate shapes for when it's skinned. Um, I'm going to start working on the tail now I think, uh, the rudder um, and the vertical stabiliser. So you can see on the plans here that the rudder and the vertical stabiliser are all built up uh, with balsa ribs and a skin. Um, and I think that's not really going to work on this size with Depron. Um, so what I will do, I think I'll make a 2D profile uh, of the vertical stabiliser um, and I can reinforce with some balsa into the fuselage um, on both sides of it and I'll essentially make one side, flip it over and make the other side with the ribs um, and I can then add in all these different uh, profiles and blocks for creating the shape of the rudder um, and the vertical stabiliser. So let's give that a go. In hindsight, I could have easily incorporated the stabiliser into the fuselage template, eliminating this joint. I decided to use a strip of 3mm pliers reinforcement tapered towards the top to fit, one either side of the tail fin. Next, the rudder is started, exactly the same way as all the other pieces so far. I've chosen to do it now while the fuselage is flat on the bench and I can get everything aligned easily. 
the airfoil of the fin and rudder will be built up at a later stage. A barbecue skewer inserted into the rudder should give it sufficient strength once it's been skinned and glassed. I think that's it for this episode. Um, really pleased with the progress. Um, and uh, next episode, I should complete the other side. Um, I also need to think about reinforcing it um, longitudinally. Obviously it's very flimsy this way. When it's skinned and there's a fiberglass skin on it, I'm sure it's gonna be a lot more rigid. Uh, but I think it's a good idea to put this 10 mil carbon tube, uh, I think this is an eight, eight mil carbon tube, um, down the centre and I can actually insert it from the rear and recess it into the uh, ribs on the other side um, and that will make a vast bit of difference. I'll probably go all the way to the tail with that, tie it into those vertical supports there um, and that should make a big difference rigidly um, with the rigidity. Really happy with the rudder. Um, I wanted to get that on and hinged now. Um, I always find that difficult um, so while I can do it flat on the bench um, I think that's a good way, but yeah, really happy with the profile. It's looking very good. Uh, there's one rib, rib 12, that I think I will need to remake um, because it's just slightly shallow than the others. Um, thanks so much for watching, um, and thank you for all those who already subscribed. If you're not subscribed, please do hit subscribe, maybe click the bell if you want notifications about the next episode, which will probably be coming out quite soon as I've got nothing else to do other than working in uh, my garage um, and uh, building planes. So thanks so much for watching. Um, do check out my Instagram, the RC Pilots Log, um, and uh, hit subscribe. Thanks a lot. Take care.